Yeah, welcome to the channel. This is Nas, and today <laughs> I have a video basically for uh, I call it the dilemmas of collecting manga, uh, the dilemmas that we go through as manga collectors when we have to collect manga. I just want to talk about some of the mistakes that I've made while I've been collecting for the last you know a year and a half or so, and just talk about some of those you know some of those dilemmas. So getting on, I have two variations of uh, what is this? Uh, let me get this move out of this way. I got flowers of evil here behind me, and when I started collecting, I liked the way these looked, and I thought I could hunt them down, and uh, you know just find them. But this volume here right now, I think I got it for very cheap. But if you look it up right now, it's going for like sixty-five dollars. I think yeah, sixty-five dollars on Amazon, and it's like going for seventy or something like that. I'll post you know, so four on eBay, right? So the last two actually are even non-existent. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find volume ten. And 11 which I'll post so in its place I got this you know I got this now the reason why I love these better is because of the spine and just the Tonka bond itself I enjoy it so that's one of the dilemmas you know one of the mistakes that I've made uh, while I'm collecting uh, instead of opting out for these you know bigger versions uh, because of my OCD and weirdness I decided to you know just go in and collect these versions but LS, as you can see, I failed. Now, that is part one of this whole tragedy, this dilemma that I'm talking about. Uh, the next series that I also had the same encounter, the same problem was with the Knights of Sidonia. So the Knights of Sidonia, I'll post the pictures, had those smaller versions. They had like 15 of those. And the same thing, you know, I started collecting them, buying them from like uh, better books, you know, getting, I got rid of it actually now. Uh, but now, I don't feel like getting those gigantic, uh, uh, deluxe editions. I, I just I don't want to get them Yet at the same time, I like the smaller version and I can't find them. So this is one of those, you know uh, Dilemmas should I or should I not type of deal and then uh, That was just the beginning. Okay, and after that as I started collecting more manga as I became a little bit more mature uh, in my uh, knowing what is out of print and when to buckle down on the omnibus instead of the signals I was the, you know, uh, 20th century boy, yeah, 20th century boy was one of those where I liked the single versions, the way it would look on, on the shelf more, and I will, you know, I'll show you guys pictures of them, both of them, as opposed to the newer omnibus ver versions, and I made the right call, call, because you never know what happened, I could have probably got them off of eBay for the whole thing, I don't think the sing uh, the 20th century boy signal singles are hard to find at the moment, but nevertheless, I learned somewhat my lesson, a little bit. And uh, for that reason, I opted out and got the, you know, the, these magnificent, I'll just show you guys, uh, these variations, these, uh, you know, so I got the whole thing. Oh my goodness. I got the whole thing. The 20th, these ones. I got these. And economically, it makes sense, you know, economically, it makes sense to get these. Right? And so I made the right call there. Now, the dilemma brings us to today, where I am at the crossroad, and I can either take, you know, the straight road, where I'll get the, the deluxe editions, uh, you know, spend all my money, and be happy with what I got. Or I can go uh, on the murky road, you know, the murky side out, <laughs> and try to repeat the same mistakes that I've made with uh, Flowers of Evil and Nice Macedonia. And the series in question is... <laughs> Uh, the Blade of the Immortal, right? Now, I know, I know I'm flexing with this, okay? Okay, I get it. Please, hold on your comment. But, I, I like the way it looks, right? Okay? But, now I'll post the other ones again. I, I just feel like I, I made the wrong decision, you know what I mean? I could have I collected them, collected the Omnis, way, way, way back when they were in, in, in print. But you know Dark Horse and their business. Now, so I did a little bit of research uh, to see... What was, you know, in stock and what was out of stock. And some of the volumes, I think it was 7, 6 and 7. Yeah, the Omnibus versions were 6 and 7 were going for some ridiculous price. Yeah, unbelievable. Now, this is an investment, I think. I don't know how it's going to look, though. So, you know, on the shelf. Get this out of the way. We are done with that. You know, on the shelf, I mean, the structure doesn't look bad. So... In a sense, this could be uh, much ado about nothing, right? 
But, uh, you know, the OCD is here. Uh, the collecting vibe, the weirdness, the dilemma is here. And I'm at uh, late hours, you know, in the middle of December, pondering this. And other people are pondering the existence of the universe. Are we alone in the universe? And I'm here talking about what omnibus should I get? Yep, and that is what I'm going to write my dissertation on, folks. I'm just joking. But the point is, that's what I got. That's, that's, that's the dilemma. So, uh, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think is better. Uh, the omnibus version, which that's what I'm voting for, okay? Obviously. Or these, these deluxe editions. You know what I mean? Do I go hunt? Because I know for a fact I'll spend 30 bucks on these. You know, go on a hunt, see what I can do. And if I fail, I fail again. You know, at least I failed and I tried. You know what I mean? Die, try hard or whatever, you know. Try. I try. That was. That was. You know. I wanted. I wanted to have a, a, a nice segue into something, but it failed. Okay, miserably. Now, that's kind of what I had. The thought process that I had for this for this night. Uh, and that's that. Now, moving on. Uh, if you noticed, the camera looks beautiful, and I usually film my uh, my you know manga whatever with my regular iPhone. I got an iPhone seven, and. My cousin got a new iPhone recently, so I coursed him, okay? I twisted his ear and borrowed this just to see how it, lo it would look. So let me know. Let me guys, you know, long time subscribers. Let me know if it's better. You know, so maybe I'll, I'll opt up and I'll upgrade and get a, get a new iPhone to, or get a camera to make the quality a little bit better. Uh, that's kind of the other side. So let me know, you guys. And also, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm about at 300 or something. I appreciate it. Comments, the, the likes, made some good friends on the internet. So, thank you guys. And that's what I have for tonight. Me rambling about this and that. Yeah, see you next time. Peace.